Hey everyone, what's going on? Tom here from Pizarro's Pieces and I'm back for a third time with my man here, Rob. Super Mask Collector, and he's going to be talking to you today about another free Aviza. I do all your favourites, really, aren't they? Yeah, That's yeah. Fair, I mean, but we're going to just showcase another free of um, some of the of the toys, what they do, the the actions, and the figures that come with them. Uh, so over to you, Rob. The first one, I believe, is Rhino. Yeah, yeah, a big favourite part of the cartoon series, obviously. Um, everyone, everyone, will, you know, remember Rhino um, massively. Worldwide sold toy. It does exactly what it does in a cartoon. You know, there's nothing that none of these vehicles don't do. Um, sometimes they look different in the cartoon, depending on how they draw. They're drawn, but mm. these toys just do what, what what they do in the cartoon. You know, you've got the battering ram. You know, and you've got the ejector seat. You know, for your adversary. You know, you want to knock him off, and all the back opens up, and you see all this in the cartoon. Mm. You know, and it's it's amazing how they. Yeah, we've made pretty They've good, made yeah. exactly what you see on TV mm. in a cartoon form, you know, come to life in your hand as a toy. Um, obviously, you've got the the back section. Take it off properly. You know, for a little, okay. little run around. Oh, okay. And these are the little lasers. You know, it's, 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 it's exactly what you see in a cartoon, mate. They are. They are pretty good. Like I said previously in videos, I, you know, I've not. You know, I don't know too much about masks, and I have through Pizarro's pieces, the business, I have sold a few mask bits. Um, you probably took them off me, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't, I'm not entirely clued up. So this is sort of me the first time seeing a lot of these complete, certainly, because I haven't seen um, too many out of boxes complete. So this is this is quite good for me. Who's the three guys that come with it? Uh, they, you only get two when you buy it. Okay. Um, but the control man, obviously, is Alex Sector. He does all the computer controlling and stuff like that. Bruce Sato is um, pretty much like the navigator, stroke, co-pilot. Um, and Matt Tracker's obviously with his Ultra Flash mask, you know, the main the main driver. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, in the cartoon you do see, it, when you, you, you see other characters driving the vehicles, and it's, it's not weird to see it, but it's good to see other characters driving another vehicle, mm. which you know is, is designated for Just that someone person. Someone else, yeah, yeah. You know, for example, if you saw Vanessa Warfield jump in a stinger, you'd be like... That's cool. It's, it's not right, but it's cool. You know, she don't drive. She drives Manta. You know, so it's it's just one of them things that just, just kept you kept you interested. That they actually done things like that. You know, the, I mean, the, the other thing in terms of the Rhino, you know, it's it's very hard to find them. You know, with, with good chromeware. Mm. Um, this one's not my best one. My best one is is probably in, in that box there. It's just oh, boxed one, yeah. Unapplied stickers. Chromeware is just immaculate. Um, but it's, it's 30, 30 odd years old, you know? mm. so to find one with brilliant chrome wear is, is well. A lot know, of the, a lot of your ones are all pretty, uh, pretty good. To be honest with you, looking at some of them. Yeah, I don't really play. Well, obviously, I don't play with them. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't let anyone play. Yeah, them. no, of course. You know, yeah, my daughters so. are fascinated with them, but that's a no-no. They got Hatchimals and things like that for that. Yeah, no, we don't want to talk about the toys of today, do we, really? <laughs> um, which one's this one here, this middle one, orange? This one, Stinger, yeah. um, Pontiac GTO. Um, yeah, another one that just does so much. Um, look at that, it's a standard car, you know, that just turns into a tank, basically. Oh, um, Jesus Christ. So you've yeah. got all the tracks, and then, obviously, they thought about it in good depth, so you've got a windshield there. A lot of the times you find the cannon that goes in there is missing, um, but on I've, I think I've got seven of these boxed, and I think every one has got the, the mortar cannon, which is that there, always gets lost if you find one. The little, the little bits normally always end up going missing, don't they? I yeah. was just looking at the guy that goes with me, he's got like a tattoo on the side of his arm. Bruno Shepard, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's like a chain. Or... He's quite a nasty piece of work in the car, I mean, yeah, some form of chain. Um, but I do one. have he's pretty cool. other variants. We've got the European one. If you want to show that. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got the same tattoo. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, different purplish colour. European go, one. That's cool. And I do have the other pieces to this one, but this is the um, the racing arena. 
um, Bruno Shepard comes with various accessories but you can show them that one quite a sought after figure there are a lot made uh, and a lot of people just hold on to them so I've got probably about five or six of them one carded um, but yeah getting back to Stinger um, you've got all your, your little bits that come out there's so much you know and even on the wheels you've got little little like photon laser type things that, that ping up and then obviously you've got your chain and all that it comes yeah. out the back to to grab your uh, do you think in um like some of these toys are quite advanced don't they for kids like the oh, transformers very advanced. and the mask were like quite, quite violent but mm. i mean well, the know, 80s were weren't they let's be honest yeah with if something like that grabbed me by the leg you know you'd be like get off you know <laughs> uh, yeah we'll, we'll probably say worse things than that but but yeah it's it's it's, it's all about guns and you know destroying the enemy is mm. you know but we loved it as kids I loved it as a kid. It was all about good versus evil and all the yeah, shut cartoons and toy lines, wasn't it? Up. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then who's this one, this little one here, the last um, one we got here? Series 1, Gator, um, Dusty Hayes, Backlash Mask. Um, still, when they first came out, this came out the first line, but. There you go, there's a guy there. One of my favourites. Um, but still, you know, one of the, one of the, you know, the biggies. You know, on par with like Condor and who's that cheap that it's boat coming out of, <laughs> you know, and, and it's this this one, you know, so if I'll give you a demonstration, you know, obviously the gun rolls around. Oh, here's your, what was that? Just Black fired barrel? the, fired the, uh, <laughs> fired the bomb, but yeah, basically, you know, and then that fires, but you've got your gun on there, and then obviously. Oh, Jesus, little boat. Yeah. With That's a pretty cool gun, with gun as well, yeah. Go, so. They are quite quite advanced, don't they? Really, for to think five, six, seven year olds. You was obviously a bit older then, yeah. but proper kids were playing with this sort of stuff. And it's just to think they the pieces must have got lost. That's oh, why yeah. to see stuff now like, like this, mint and complete from um, 30, 35 years ago is just it's just it's unreal. To be right? honest with, with you, there, yeah. there's a lot of people out there that do collect it, you know, and it's just getting bigger and bigger. Mm. Um, to find it is. Is a nightmare. Yeah, I've been getting asked quite a lot through my Facebook and Instagram pages about it, and um, you just can't buy it at the right price. To be honest, it's kind of becoming a bit like Star Wars, ain't it? Mm. I think in regards to to be able to sort of shift it on at a reasonable price, you just can't get it. I, I think, mean, they're talking about the film as well now, aren't they? And I think, I think from what I understand, I think that they're introducing Matt Tracker into a GI Joe film. Mm. Uh, from what I understand, don't quote me on that. Um, but you know, I think it's just a test to see. I think that I think they're doing it as a test to see how we'd react to this certain particular character with a vehicle that that, that transforms, transformed, yeah. not into a robot as such or anything like that, but into this sort of thing. Mm. And if that takes off, and people are like, "Bloody hell, did you see that car? What are you done?" Then they might. Then I think it might get the ball rolling mm. for him to go. Do you know what? Let's let's do it. And this is the only toy line, as far as I know, that hasn't had. Um, like knockoffs, mm. um, as such, there are knockoffs available, but they're mm. the other side of the water. Um, but there, there's, there's a few bits knocking around. But the vehicles itself, I've never seen, you know, apart from customs, you know, I've never seen, you know, one of these in like, a, a Poundland, for example, no, yeah. or a cheap version. You, you know, used to get like a lot of like the knockoff transformers, and we. Well, Masters right. of the Universe was one of the worst to be sort of yeah. knocked off He Man. There was a lot of knockoffs of He Man and Thundercats and the like. So, yeah, I've never. Um, it's, it's strange. I've just, you know, and these are the only toy line that's not been tampered with or redone mm. or anything like that. It's, it's, it's funny because everything's been redone or updated. Yeah, yeah, you've had new, a lot of them Masters, Thundercats been updated, yeah. He Man, they, they, they've redone it all. Mm. but they haven't done masks but they haven't touched it yet who knows what yet. Hasbro have got yeah. in mind you know it's on, the, it's on their bucket list mate mm. you know so hopefully they'll please people like me there's a lot there's a lot they're talking about I mean there's a Visionaries movie they're mm. talking about yet nothing's sort of been announced it's just all talk at the minute so we'll, we'll have to wait up, and see on one yeah everyone's <laughs> waiting yeah, we're not getting any younger we want to see these films yeah, you I'll know? be 80 by the time the film or the new tour line <laughs> comes out I think there's one thing I want to ask about you I'm just looking on the shelf behind you here this one up to the top here the afterburner yeah why is the why is it different the logo and that is it was it a later model or we, was it got split seconds on it we, in another interview later on obviously we don't want to bore you um with a too long a video, but mm. we'll basically it was series four, the racing oh, wow, the okay. racing line, uh, where the vehicle split 
into two. Right, okay. Um, and obviously to drive the other vehicle, where the vehicle split into two, had to have a driver. So right. they created the split seconds. A clone would then drive the other vehicle or one of the vehicles, and the standard character would drive. And the, the clones other one. are they the ones that were like clear, transparent ones? Yes, yeah. I remember them. Yeah. yeah, see, I do remember some aspects of the toy line. No, I did. I don't think I had any. I may have. I just had so many toys when I was a kid, but. I do remember when I was growing up, one of my friends was quite a big fan of Mars, so I do remember the transparent coloured ones. Right, that's wicked. Right, I've been speaking to Rob as well about um, doing um, one on Terminator, possibly. The Terminator. And maybe Transformers as well, because you've quite you got quite a lot of G1 Transformers in that. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope, hope you've enjoyed the three videos that we've done on Mask. Um, like Rob said, we try and keep it short. We don't want to sort of do... 30 minute videos and, and drag it out too long so we've split it down a little bit into sort of part one part two part three um, we'll don't do we'll do, we'll do we can do more, yeah maybe in the future we'll do a few more yeah, yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe um, give us a like if you've got any comments or anything you want to ask Rob don't feel free to put some comments in the box below don't forget you can find me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook at Pizarro's Pieces again guys thanks for watching and we'll see you soon